So we are living in a very unusual time right now, which is changing the way we work, play, and shop. I chatted on Skype with Katie Mabry Van Deeren, the curator of the Strawberry Swing Indie Craft Fair. She shares how that we can still support local makers and businesses. How can businesses transition to more online platforms? Hi. Okay, so this has been a pretty big hit for all of our small businesses because, you know, what they do for their living is create stuff and then sell it most of the time in person, mm -hmm. but also online. So what I've tried to do is make a online database. Um, I'm still working on it. I have it. It's called... Um, on my website, the strawberryswing.com, there's a maker's marketplace online. Mm -hmm. And so I'm trying to get them up on that because normally they come to my craft fair and sell in person. So now we're trying to get them all organized by what they make, like jewelry, because you still have to, you have to take care of people still. You might need to right. send your mom or your sister a gift for her birthday because finding things in the mail is going to be how we kind of like feel connected again, you know? Is there anything that we can do as an individual besides going ahead and buying things? For instance, I've seen a lot of right. Instagram, Facebook posts about, hey, these are ways that you can help people stay informed. Yeah, for sure. Going online mm -hmm. and sharing, if you don't have money or if you don't need to spend any money, as long as you can share these small businesses to raise awareness for them, maybe you share it and then your sister, she says, oh, I would love to buy a bracelet for someone or I need stationery to send cards to my friends. As long as you can share, like share a local small business every day. If your friend has one, yeah. just just share their like post. Um, you can also buy gift cards or like share someone with someone a gift card and send them it for a present because gift cards right now are going to be a big deal um, for people who are trying to stay afloat still, but can't be open, you know? Right. So just sharing via social media is a great thing to do. Propping your friends up. Um, there's so many people online right now. So it's a great way to get the word out about these small businesses. Okay, and right now I feel like almost all of my conversations are around coronavirus or recent health concerns. Right. So some people may not be like, okay, we know that local businesses do need support, but that may not be at the forefront of their mind. Can you please touch on how important it is for some of the local makers that you know that people do continue to support them? Yeah, for sure. This is literally with me. I see I have four festivals a year and some of them are making their entire salary at just my festivals. So wow. um, having not being able to do these events in person is, I mean, a really big deal. And then the retail shops, a lot of them are selling, let's say, made in KC, right? You know that mm -hmm. store? Yeah. Um, a lot of people are also making their rent just from selling in that store, which had to close. So this is super important. These are their businesses and their, this is what they do for a living, how they raise their children or how they pay their rent. Well, and taking a note from Katie there, I will be sharing several different home decor stores that are local to Kansas City and also sharing some sales that they have going on.